<laughs> oh my god, this is so much better. What I love is sometimes I'll lie to make a story better. You have to lie to make the story less ludicrous. <laughs>
you had literally nothing to do, so. But I was still at, in. We hung out <laughs> in the dorms, yeah. and much to the chagrin of Dan, because like and I both wanted you there, yeah, and he didn't. But technically, he was your roommate, so really, he the one that should have been able to kick. Because all four of us were living in the same room, we were sleeping in the same room. And that's just how little we were having sex. Yes. <laughs> uh, and I, even though I had dropped out, um, I was still working at the dorm grocery store. Yeah, Tara was asking me about that. How did that work? I don't like, know. It, it, it was several weeks into the semester, and I asked to drop out, but it was too late for me to drop out. So you just got all Fs. So technically, you weren't, you weren't a dropout until the end of the semester? I was just a failure. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. What do, you, what do you want on your cake, Niles? It's, it's no longer a surprise. Um, I want tacos and pizza. Are those supposed to be letters? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> that H is pretty bad. <laughs> that A is Did you just spit on my cake? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think we should put... Are you using a spatula to write with? Oh, you should... I'll be surprised. This... This... L. <laughs> I'm getting messy. Maybe I shouldn't have used white, that looked a little bit. Ah! Oh! Came out. Bad. Uh oh. We had too much sugar? Let's go wash your hands. How did we stay friends? Actually, this is like a serious question. I don't remember. How did we stay friends? Um. I do, uh, also, uh, you went to Europe and all your mail is going to me, because I think, did your dad still think you were in college when yes. you went to Europe? Yeah, you see, so, uh, we became more bonded because as we hung out later in the summer and then when I, I talked to you either by phone or email and then visited in the fall, um, that's when we made the plan that okay, the idea is I'm living with you. I'll call my dad every now and then to reassure him I'm in college. Yeah, and I won't have to do jack yeah. crap except just collect your mail. Right. And that was it. And, uh, well, I go to London. <laughs> and for the first week or two, it's okay. But then I went on the continent, and I didn't, you know, when I was in London, I stayed with Rachel. Then I go on the continent, and I'm by myself. I didn't have access to a phone, I didn't have a credit card or anything. So I was basically lost for several weeks. I mean, I was nowhere off the map. I just remember, like, I had to have, I don't remember the conversation with your dad, but I had to have talked to him, because I was the one that had to tell him that what you were doing. Right. So, like, oh, that would have been a fun conversation. I wish I remembered it, because it couldn't have been good to be like, uh... <laughs> He's, he's not well, here. Well, I, he's in Europe. He's dropped out of school. I, I think the, it was at that point in time where you referred him to Rachel. And he's like, ask Rachel. That makes more sense why I don't and, remember it. And so... I don't like telling people bad news. When I, when I got back to London and Rachel, and uh, the deal was is that you had basically ratted me out. <laughs> <laughs> Which you kind of had to do. I do remember you, like, one day, like, you complained about it every day, and then one day you were like, it's starting to be okay, I'm starting to, because they didn't teach you how, like, the system worked either yeah. or something, and, like, I'm starting to figure out the system, and then you got, like, fired the next week or something. I didn't get fired, it was, you know, I had killed my mom, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I killed grandmas, I killed my mom, and so then what I did was, I, I think I just didn't show up. I, okay. I just didn't show up and I called the temp company that got me the job as my father. Mm -hmm. And I explained to them that Niles was involved in a car accident. He had gotten hit by a car. <laughs> and that was that. But the thing was is that I still couldn't get my check. So I had to, um, I had to wait a week and a half or something. And I go back to the temp company 
limping. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much better. So you must have just told me you got fired. <laughs> you don't want to tell me all this. Yep. <laughs> so he limped into the temp agency. Around this time, you know, because you, you were making plans. Every time I came home, I was like, geez, I should probably go back home. I should go live with my grandma. I could probably get a job, a boring temp job that'll pay okay. And uh, every night, you'd be like, well, these are our plans for how we're going to, what we're going to do here. And you made it sound like we were going to live together for a while. You shall be my wife. And I felt bad. And, you know, there were times where you were out of town and Rachel would come over because Rachel and I had begun a thing again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have the heart to tell Eric that I'm actually leaving him <laughs> and going back home. And so you just came home from work this one time. You broke it up with me. I had <laughs> taken all my clothes and... All this crap, all my crap is gone. And then I was with Rachel in Des Moines, and you called Rachel. <laughs> I was pissed. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't mad. Uh, we've had this conversation a bunch, and uh, I'm not mad anymore because nothing's funny, but especially now that I've seen you, uh, you do the exact same thing with girls you don't want to date anymore. You just, you hate confrontation so much that you run. <laughs> But I was so bad because it was just like, I, and I do, re I do remember like, uh, and maybe you didn't know this, but like, yeah. uh, after our sophomore year, um, where we all lived in the same room and there were people in our dorm all the time, yeah. I actually got really sick of people, yeah. and so I wanted to live by myself. And I went and uh, <clears throat> did work just for the summer, and then went and got my own apartment. And that fall, uh, I was. Like, I liked it at first, but then got really bored and yeah. lonely. So I, like, liked having a roommate. Uh, so I probably was, like, yay, I have a buddy. Yeah. Um, and then I'm, from that day on, I never lived alone again. Because I just didn't like it. Or I messed up my you started dating Go Wetzel, and the thing is, Wetzel was in super shape. Oh yeah, so she our, would not have allowed me to have our, a freshman 15. Our conceit was, uh, we're training, or I gotta train for Wetzel. <laughs> <laughs> and so we would just run around the... How are we both training for Wetzel? <laughs> you can say there's people in your life, like, in some multiverse, and you're, you've already said her name, so I'm gonna say it. Uh, you're in some multiverse, you're married to Rachel. Yeah. Uh, in some multiverse, I'm married to her. I can't say in any multiverse I'm married to lots of other girls. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not in no multiverse am I married to her. <laughs> in a multiverse, you may have killed me. <laughs> but that, that was an interesting. Movie. Part two about that is that the scene in, that was written in the film with uh, Percy and Marcus, and Percy being depressed over Sandy, is that that happened with us? Except I was depressed over Rachel. Yes. Who was with Joe the engineer? And I was going to see Rachel the next day because she was visiting. And then we were going to go out of town for spring break. You and I. And was, I just remember being super sad. And I was like, I have to go out tonight and hook up with someone just to, so I have something. And you were booing me on. Like, let's go. Let's do it. We've got to do it. Nothing's going to happen. But who cares? And so we went. And that's when I ran into a girl codenamed Also, I used to like to go out because I was single. Like, when you're in a, like a super like serious relationship, and especially married, yeah. the idea of going to a bar completely <coughs> loses all its appeal. Yeah. It's like, it's almost like a playing the lottery. Of like, you play the lottery, whenever you went to a bar when you're single, you're playing the lottery. Sure, you paid money, you're probably not gonna win, but you might win. Uh, if you're married and you go to the bar, it's essentially you're paying lots of money and you know you're not going to win the lottery. So what's the point of playing the lottery? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's dumb. Literally nothing good can happen <laughs> to a married dude in a bar. Because <laughs> even if something good happens right then, yeah. it's not going to be good the next day. Don't. <laughs> Niles is scared over there. <laughs> Seriously? Dad, you're going to time. I have to stay with Piper. And I'm sick and tired of going. I'll go. <laughs>
Oh, me too. <laughs>